Hi, I'm Danielle, and this is Chatter Out Loud, a podcast where I share thoughts and TV commentary on shows I like to watch. Now, before I start, I want to ask that you go ahead and like, follow, share, and subscribe. And on YouTube, where I upload my companion episode of the podcast, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This way you can get a notification every time I post a new episode and you won't miss out. It doesn't cost you anything to follow and subscribe, so go ahead, hit the bell, and thank you in advance. All right, so welcome, and I thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Your presence is very much appreciated. Okay, let's chat a little bit about episode four of Big Brothers Canada season 10, BB Can 10. Uh, This episode was geared around the power of veto and a replacement nominee. Um, As the HOH, Marty nominated JC Lynn and Jay for eviction, uh, and Jay is Marty's target. Okay. Uh, They show us Jay's twirl in front of Marty when he takes a seat on the nomination couch. Um, We saw it at the end of the last episode. We see it at the beginning of this episode. The theatrics. (laughs) Uh, Then they show the mirror affirmation segment um, that Summer started, where Summer pulled in all of the girls in the mystery room with the phone, and they each said affirmations to themselves in the mirror. And I thought that was pretty nice. Um... Jay and Josh, uh, they are connecting in the house, right? They have a lot in common. They're both indigenous, black and white. Uh, They find each other to be authentic human beings. And if I'm not mistaken, um, what they didn't share in the episode, I'm going to say tonight, (laughs) um, uh, they, uh, that they made a final two. I'm sorry. I spaced out there. Yeah. They didn't show that in an episode, but, uh, Jay and Josh, uh, talked about a final two. Um, I don't know how solid that was. I think it's just Jay's way of trying to stay in the house. Um, but, uh, we'll have to see if it works tomorrow night. Right. All right. Uh, they do speak the spin of the wheel to pick the players for the power of veto. Jay, when he spins, uh, it lands on Helena's name. When JC Lynn spins, it lands on Josh's name. And when Marty spins, it lands on Betty's name. So the players are Jay, Helena, JC Lynn, Josh, and Betty, right? The HOH does not get to play in the power of veto. Jay was excited on who was picked to play because he thought that they were easy to beat. So he thought, um, a funny moment, uh, her, her mom is in the HOH talking with Marty and, uh, they're in a conversation and then the bathroom door opens. Gino is on the toilet. He's still sitting there, drawers and pants are down at his ankles (laughs) and he's sitting there. He opens the door just to listen in on the conversation and participate. (laughs) I thought that's such a guy thing to do. It was, it, it made me laugh. Um. All right. Uh, they are talking. They're also talking about Marty's belief in that Jay is trying to pull numbers to gain votes and giving us the, um, his thought process behind keeping Jay as the target and switching who he originally wanted to go up as a replacement nominee. Should that happen at this time in the game? We don't know. Or in the episode, we don't know what happens until after the power of veto. But they're talking about scenarios. Right. And they were hearing that Jay is trying to get numbers to stay. So they have to make sure they pick the right person to go against him to make sure to ensure that Jay goes home. All right. Gino's talking to JC Lynn. He's supporting her and she's telling him she likes him. I guess they're getting more playful and they're getting to know each other more. It's a brewing showman's. Um, and he's really attracted to her, attracted to her. And if I'm not mistaken on the live feeds, they've already shared a kiss. Um, I have to find out where that was or see if one of the people I follow um, can let me know where that was. Uh, they re- they reveal that Jess and Kevin are actually working together in this episode. Um, and Kevin is playing the sad and bad at the game role. Um, that's what he said he was going to do before, in his interview before entering in the, in the house. Um, that was part of his strategy and he is playing that up. All right. Jess says that they are always the alien among humans. <laughs> this is Jess's way of saying how her, or excuse me, they and Kevin uh, align and get along. Uh, they are the aliens among humans. <laughs> oh, um, 
All right. Uh, and they both say they think they should have a pretend tension to keep the house cu- house guests uh, from figuring out that they are aligned. And it was so funny because um, there was, I don't know if they showed this in the episode or I saw this on the live feed where in that conversation, that same conversation, Kevin goes, I know, um, or he says something like, I think you annoy me or I annoy you. And she's like, sure. Or vice versa or something like that. Uh, I should have had that in front of me. I don't have that in front of me. But anyway, they're going to play along and pretend there's a little tension between the two of them. So no one will figure out that they are aligned in the game. All right. Moving on to the power of veto competition. It's a baking theme titled Master Bakers. I'm going to keep it clean. All right. Uh, Summer was the host and she popped out of the huge cake. She was dressed as the frosting on the on the top of the cake with a cherry on her head and sprinkles. So she was pretty cute as the host. Um, they, uh, in this game, they had to build the first layer of the cake, roll over this pin in the middle of that little track there and go back and forth for each layer of the cake. The first person to compete Complete all five layers of the cake wins the power of veto. Now, this looked like a pretty hard game to do. It was very, very challenging. Um, They had to keep the cakes balanced. The columns kept collapsing and falling over. And then when that happens, they have to start all over again. Um, So it was a very hard game. And of course, the other house guests are watching them all perform in the game. Uh, and Gino, he finds JC Lynn's, they, they switched to him in the DR and says, uh, where he's saying he finds JC Lynn's focus is really hot. <laughs> yeah, brewing romance, right? Uh, Jay gets extremely frustrated during the competition and he slams his pieces down on the ground. And people are like, don't give up, Jay, don't give up. And I'm like, look at him. He was just so frustrated. Um, and it, it was almost like in that moment he wanted to give up. But later on, we see that he he kept playing. He, he didn't give up. And that, I guess that's important. Um, it was a very, very hard comp. And in the end, J.C. Lynn, she pulled out a win. So she won the power of veto. Uh, in one room shortly after that, we see J.C. Lynn and Steph celebrating. You know how all the... Uh, uh, when someone wins a competition, they go into the the pantry and they do their dance and shake around, stuff like that. We see that every season. So J.C. Lynn and Steph were in one room celebrating. And in the other room, we see Jay. He's crying. He's very upset. And he's being consoled by Josh. It was pretty sad. Um, more chatter around the house about who should be the replacement nominee. Jess thinks it should not be Kevin because they are aligned. Betty thinks it's not her because Marty told her she can kick her feet up and um, implying that she's safe for the week. Um, Kyle talks with Marty and fig- uh, to try to figure out how the votes will, uh, what's the best play to make so the votes won't flip, right? Because Marty is hellbent on getting Jay out. Uh, Kyle and his arrogance, I mean, we've already seen it a few times, Uh first one when he started that uh not started when he had that altercation or that confrontation with jay we saw his arrogance pop up there uh we saw his arrogance when he said betty can't play or something like that um or play her way out of a paper bag or something to that effect and we've seen him around um on the live feeds with his arrogance uh i think it may have to have to do with his age but he his favorability is lowering Uh, He's not liked online. (laughs) Um, And yeah, so people are waiting for him to be the next on the block to see how he changes and then get him out of the house, right? At least that's what fans are wanting to see, the majority of the fans. But his arrogance, Kyle, that is, is becoming more apparent and he throws out Betty's name to Marty. And I knew, I, I knew I remember seeing that before where that's where, that's the first time Marty was, starting to change his mind because Kyle threw that name out and online people were arguing with me saying no Kevin was the first one no it was Kyle Kyle said it first to Marty changed started changing his mind and then Kevin came back and and said it to him um, because he didn't want to go on the block and then between Jess and uh Gino and Herman, they all reinforced like Betty should go, Betty should go up and stuff like that. So Kyle was the one who put who planted that seed. 
Um, all right. Uh, what else would I like to say about that? Um, at the same time, he's also saying that uh, there's later on in the conversation between Ka- uh, Kevin and Marty, Kevin is now throwing Summer and Ty and Betty and Josh saying they're working together. Um, he's throwing them under the bus. So they're, Kevin is just working on the next person to be um, put out of the house. So he's starting to plant seeds with Summer and Ty and then Betty and Josh. So this is... This is not, everybody's playing the game. I still like it, but, um, you know, I like summer anyway. Uh, Marty wants to Marty wants, uh, Jay is Marty's target and Marty wants Jay out of the house. Um, he wants to take away a number from Jay as it relates to the votes. And so he said, it's going to be his decision, his decision, <laughs> but it's not his decision really. Right. Cause Kyle put that bug in his ear. <laughs> and he and he swayed Marty. So it's really Kyle's decision. So Marty is doing what Kyle wants. Yeah, I think I said that right. Marty is doing what Kyle wants, right? It's not just Marty's decision alone. All these people are influencing him, starting with Kyle. Anyway, uh they they switched to another segment where Betty, out of all people, is giving Kevin a pep talk, telling him to step up his game. <laughs> And I found this to be so rich. I said, Betty is telling Kevin to step up his game. No one wants to be a pawn shop. Get it? A pawn? (laughs) Right? Because Kevin, he went on the block um, once and then he... They were throwing out his name again. So she was like, you got to step up your game so you don't always be a pawn. And I said, look at production. They picked this clip intentionally just to be messy. Right? Betty told Kevin to step up his game. (laughs) All right. Uh, They just had to air that clip of her, Betty, telling another player to step up their game. It's just so funny to me um, because Betty's performance in comps haven't been all that great. She hasn't been all that social. She has been trying, but she's not that good at it. And in the end, uh, she's not considered a threat. People, I mean, she had out of all three competitions she's played in, she hasn't won anything. She's come in last. So anyway, um, during the POV ceremony, JC Lynn, of course, uses the veto on herself. Uh, and Marty replaces JC Lynn with who? Betty. This is the same Betty I just talked about as far as giving Kevin a pep talk to step his game up. <laughs> and Betty was shocked. So and that's what made me even crack up even more. I'm like, oh, poor Betty. Uh, she has to get herself together. All right. Uh, the live eviction is tomorrow night. Uh, I'm recording this after the episode airs, but by the time I post it, it will be Thursday morning. But the live eviction, or I guess I should say the live eviction is Thursday night. Yeah. Um, and at this point, I think Jay's going home. But again, anything can happen. But I think it's a strong chance that Marty will get his way. They will vote Jay out. Um, I hope he stays, but it looks like he may be going. So we'll have to see. Um, You have to let me know what you thought of tonight's episode. Um, Do you think they're capturing the essence of what's happening in the game? You have to leave me a comment. And what do you think about Betty telling Kevin to step his game up? (laughs) production oh that was hilarious to me all right you guys um that's all i have so be sure to come back and give me a listen i'd love for you to like share follow and subscribe so you can also leave me a comment leave me a message if you're listening to the podcast there's a link to leave me a message right on that landing page so just check that out okay and my name is danielle and you're listening to my podcast chatter out loud thank you so much for joining me and as always i appreciate your support And that's all I have. Thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you next time.